Hi, it's Jason and Golf Principles. I'm going to talk today probably the biggest misconception out there in golf that one swing fits all clubs. That is not true. There's two swings in golf there's the driver swing and everything else. And this hula hoop and arrow is going to show you why that's true. When you're hitting an iron, you're trying to hit down and compress it. Now, if you can see from the angle there, if I'm hitting down, then the angle of attack, if it was zero, would be straight to the target. But actually, we're hitting down. So that arrow is pointing out to the right. So to hit a straight shot, that means we've got to swing a little bit to the left, and that will give us that famous zero to path club face that we're trying to strive for. Remember, we're going for that zero sum. If the face club to path is zero, you will hit a straight shot. Now, with the driver, we're hitting it on the up. So you can see when you're on the up, Where's the circle going? It's going left. And the more up you hit, the more left it goes. So that's why we talk about angle attack being up with the driver, about two degrees to be perfect. And that's why when we're going up by two, we've got to swing out to the right a little bit by two. That will give us that zero to path. Now, if you look at driver distances and how to maximize driver, that's a big question you get a lot of people coming in and asking, how do I maximize my driver? Or well, why can I hit three wood better than driver? Well, most less able players are hitting too much down, too much across. But that's okay with a three wood, because that's going to make it into like a pseudo driver. 15 degrees with a 380 degree attack angle down, it's going to give you about 12 degrees of contact. That's basically a driver for some people. And if that spin rate is under 3,000 or around 3,000, that's their driver number topped off. Now the driver, if they do a 10.5 driver, they hit down by 3 degrees, you're coming in, well, do the math, 7.5, can be even less, can be a little bit better. So we've got to try and encourage more folks to come in at, at worst case zero, and hopefully a little bit on the up, to get that maximum distance. Why is that important? There's a thing called spin loft. Imagine it's like a piece of cake or a wedge. You've got the attack angle and the loft. If those two wedges are close, you're going to get a lower spin loft. That means greater smash factor, less spin, and more forward momentum on the ball. The moment that curve becomes open, if you say you come down and open face, that opens up the spin loft like a, like a crocodile's jaw. Ooh. And that's going to give you a higher launch, higher spin loft, and the thing's just going to lose itself predominantly to the right and go high and lose distance. Which is why a lot of folks out there hit three wood sometimes the same as their driver. They make the same swing, the spin loft opens up, and they lose it high and right. So if I can encourage you out there at all, at best, try and hit up, at worst, hit zero. Okay, work on that, your drive will improve, definitely.